Welcome back to more Inquisitor. Trying to pump it out. So here we are at the pagan temple where I got was getting rocked. Uh, but I found if you walk to it from this side, which is the Colosseum, which I'm not sure why the map is not completed on this, but we'll fix that. Maybe I didn't go this far. Looks like I had not There would definitely not be this many guys over here. It's a clean house. I got a magic scroll. You guys can feel free to help out. Oh, this is the uh, forum, I believe. You can get to all the different uh, Galabornium places without actually leaving. Yeah, this is the forum. Basically cleaning up on this overworld map a little bit. Uh, I did a bunch of the pagan temple. You didn't miss anything. Just uh, 20 minutes of me doing this. I was uh, very careful not to click on anything or pick up anything of value. But at the same time, <laughs> this Let's Play is uh, a lot of... Text dialogue reading and point and click and attacking the same monsters over and over again. Let's come back here because I haven't really. Well, I haven't picked up anything anyway. But, um. We do have a quest to complete the Pagan Temple, which is back where I was. I'm just kind of showing you how they're all connected. We can get to the. I'll see him from here as well. So this is the Pagan Temple. I've uncovered most of the map here. Uh, there is no underground level apparently. Um, but we have these different pedestals here and there's a monument over here I left kind of untouched. These different fountains are all boost. That gives me 5,000 experience. Which we will happily take. Master Ronstalk Longshanks. But anyways, this is that uh, area that I kept walking in and getting bum rushed. So I came in here and I just let a ghost loose. And uh, together me and the ghost pretty much just cleared this area. Two tribute points for that. Take it. I notice I already have half of my potions. being slowed. Whatever ability is letting me see cash, I guess it's perception. It should be. Hidden objects, yeah. So I'm at a I'm at an apprentice level. Since I have these maps I don't feel it's necessary to do even use those but had I not, this might have been a good idea. Anyways, there's some free shit. And another magic box. Which we will gladly add to the collection.
There's uh, my genie. I keep calling him my ghost because that's what he looks like, but. Yeah. He's still out and about. I think they stay indefinitely until they're destroyed. See, the quest book is getting smaller and smaller. Right now we're working on this middle quest here to clear the pagan temple. This guy's gonna start shooting me. You can see I love gold everywhere. the actual pagan temple up here that we need to cleanse. I did leave a little host of baddies up here. This is wrong. Now you show up. Not sure how we cleanse this, if we need to do something special, or if we just need to clear the area. Uh, unlike the zombies in the sewer, there is an indefinite amount of respawning characters here, so I'm not sure how that works. Diablo's getting all kinds of fucked up.
supposed to be a cache around here. But I'm not seeing anything that's very obvious. Or no, never mind. There's not. I'm getting a lot of spells to memorize. Not that it matters. You do get a little bit of mana every time. Maximum mana, I believe, every time you learn a new spell, but... Honestly, who gives a shit? There's the cache. It's over here. Oh, here we go. We have some kind of interaction. You who disturb the peace of the dead yet still awake, leave and stop your efforts, for you're not supposed to be here. The desire to capture this place, even if only in your mind, will be punished. Whoever you all listen to me carefully. I came to get this place out of the hands of dead demons and pagan idols and return it to the hands of God and bring the true faith here. As the first prophet said, and the light of the true faith will be lit all over the world, and he who refuses the faith will burn in infernal flame. Don't you understand, mortal? Then there's nothing here but the gods when you declared sacred, and it shall stay this way forever. For we were called to protect this place and stand here eternally, to prevent anyone from touching this sacred place. Thus, stop your steps and leave in peace, or else you shall be punished and face death. And off, unholy demon, I order you by the power of the true faith, and by the archangel Gabriel, leave this place, because it's going to be sanctified in the name of Rodstock. And you choose death in the wings of the god of death, Darthmon, mortal. We were summoned to protect this divine place, and we shall, for its danger. Your decision will be your death. <laughs> Shit. Who are you talking to? I knew I should have left Diabolus' dumbass over there. <laughs> Where's my ghost when you need him? Come over here. Holy shit! It's like instant death, man. Fuck it, I'm just gonna summon a ghost up here. These things are a dime a dozen right now, to be honest. Spirits of the pig and god dwell where they should have been for a thousand years already. This great place can become a part of divine kingdom on earth and house of God, true faith, and of Holy Mother Church. Therefore, in the name of God, the Archangel Gabriel, Angels Raphael and Michael, and all the holy prophets, I sanctify this place and declare it the temple of the holy heart of the Lord. Let the flame of the true faith be lit in the place where only eternal infernal darkness has been brooding so far. Aspergillum item destroyed. Oh yeah. I used my quest item over here, my Aspergillum. I 
got some gems. Man, that dual genie. First time I've had to go dual genie. This land is sanctified. I got fucking genie love everywhere. But that's okay. As long as you're rich like long shanks, you have infinite genies. So let's go turn this quest in. It's done. I'm pretty sure this whole area is done. Go check out the forum. Whoa, go back. We like you, Devil Root. I'm not even sure who wants that quest. Ah, yeah. Big bad priest. Would you walk to the fucking east? getting very close to ending Act 2. I think we just need to find the perpetrators. And we're done. Welcome, son. I hesitate to ask if you've achieved some success in your noble effort to consecrate the Pagan Temple. Yes, Your Honor. The Pagan Temple is free to unclean powers. We're consecrated as the Church of the Sacred Heart of our Lord. Really? I can't believe that. Have you really managed to wipe out the evil from that ancient dark place? And to consecrate a new sanctuary of God there? Unfucking believable. A holy Mother Church. Not only here in Glatzburg will be indebted to you forever, son. You are an example to us all. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't thank me, son. You don't have to. I and the whole Holy Mother Church should be grateful to you instead. I'll arrange at once some priest from Glatzburg Diocese to move into the consecrated temple and start with reconstruction. Yes, it's understandable. Raymond Ventano with the kidnapping of Francisco Verdi. Francesco Del Verde, yep. Let's charge this guy. We know he's guilty. Or at least, evidence points that way. Do you have enough evidence for that, son? Yes, I have. I managed to free Francesca Del of the dark powers that possessed her. Then she testified Raymond Ventano was one of the kidnappers who dragged her to the place where an unclean spirit entered her body. And not from a very comfortable area. Uh, it seems the evidence speaks clearly. In that case, I bring charge of kidnapping against Raymond Ventana. With my permission to arrest him and flog the shit out of him, son. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> now, where that guy is, I have no fucking clue. We need to find out who's behind the murder, though, folks. Three thousand experience from level. Mm. And of course it's time to go sell and all that good stuff. But first let's get some double root potions. Free stats. Dexterity? Heck yeah, we'll take it. I'm gonna pause the camera, we'll be right back. Alright, we're all repaired up, we're potioned up. Quest to cooled up. Now to find Raymond Vertano. do that though we let's go ahead and run off <clears throat> go check out the purified temple see if anything's changed
cash. Greetings, son. We're grateful for the opportunity you've given us. We shall light the flame of divine justice in this murky land besieged by hellspots. Can I repay your kindness somehow, father? Not necessary, son, which is performing his will, but when I'm thinking about it, your help could be useful after all. Since the moment we were sent here, we've been looking for the foundation stone of the original temple of the first prophet, which was supposed to be built somewhere near after Galibornium was conquered by the faith longs. Contemporary chronicles testify that the foundation stone was consecrated by St. Orthenius himself. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to find it yet, and we're afraid it might have gone missing during all those centuries. Can you help? Very well, I'll help find this stone. Excellent, son. You're a real altruist. And the Archangel Gabriel spread his protective wings over you. Well, I'm hoping that this is the foundation stone. Sure does look like it. I have the stone for you. Here you go. It must really be the stone. Heavens, we received the foundation stone of the Temple of the First Prophet, consecrated by St. Orthenius himself. It's one of the most wonderful discoveries in history of the diocese. Entire faithful community is grateful to you, sir. You're welcome. It was really nothing. Your modesty does you credit, sir. Thanks again, once again, for that wonderful discovery. Anyways, could you please tell us how we may be of service? I'm good. Thanks for the quick quest. Then I bid you Godspeed, son. We must focus on our holy mission. Yeah. Lock chest. <clears throat> That's interesting. Yeah. Looks like this one requires an actual key. There's stones on the ground. <clears throat> Those are not notated in my map, so I do not know. Ventana, let's see, where the fuck are you? Alright, we need to head to Glatzburg West. Not sure what's up with those stones. If any of you guys can figure that out, I'd like to know. My map does not tell me anything about that. Might be a later later game thing, who knows? But it requires a key, apparently. Yeah. Dead bitches. Already repaired. Sold, got my potions. The nice thing is, is that you don't need to go to the blacksmith. It's you again, knight. What do you want? Can't you see I devote myself to my business? Raymond Ventana, you're under arrest in the name of justice. You're accused of kidnapping Francesca Govardi. You'll come with me. How? Pardon? What are you talking about? I didn't commit anything like that. It's a nasty lie. Who could have told you anything like that? Francesca Galverdi is possessed by dark powers. Everyone knows that. The bitch tried to kill Bishop Traverius. Francesca Galverdi was exercised, cleansed of the dark powers that controlled her, and so she could testify who arranged her kidnapping. Because of that, you'll be coming with me. Never! <laughs> Night, I give up mercy. I'll come with you. Just don't kill me. I'm glad you decided to surrender, Ventano. However, for an assault on me, I sentence you to forfeit your property. Your house is mine. Your bitch is mine. Let's go. You're lucky there's nothing in the immediate vicinity to steal. Oh, I took all kinds of shit from him. I literally took his shit. <laughs> Got 
your dagger and your ring. Which both suck ass. Wolfrang, the damage sucks. Why well, have you in my custody? I will sell your shit to the blacksmith right in front of your fucking face. Because let's face it, your shit sucks. That might be cool. Fireball. You're obviously guilty now, bud. Guess where you're going? The torture chamber. It's been a while since we've got to torture someone. This should be fun. Put him on the pillory. I'm not sure how the <clears throat> torturing works down here. You got the rack. I think the pillory is where he drops water on their head. Raymond Ventano, you're charged with high crimes. By all accounts, you kidnapped Francesco Gilverdi and consorted with the fertile powers. Do you confess to these sins? Release me, I owe you. Release me at once. Do you know what will follow if you don't confess voluntarily? I'll have to use torture, though I'll feel great regret doing so. Kind of. I'm innocent. You're making a great mistake, Knight. Release me at once. In that case, you don't give me any other choice. Executioner, do your duty. Oh, shit. They're filling his mouth with water and then beating the shit out of him with a stick. I'm asking you once more, Raymond Ventano. Do you confess to your crimes? No, it's all bullshit. I did nothing. Release me at once or you'll be terribly sorry. Executioner, fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I have nothing to confess. Relieve me, please. I'm a humble churchgoer. I pay taxes and tithes. Executioner, beat him more. Stop, stop. You sadistic bastard. You will soon lie by my feet and whine like a dog. I'll make you gelded for all this. I'll gouge out your eyes and eat them. Well, you'll be rolling around in agony. I'll tear out your tongue with white-hot tongs. I'll kick your bowels until they squandered around the room. I'll break your skull and throw your brains to the rats. So, do you plead guilty, sinner? Yes, I plead. I plead. That when Lord Baphomet sits on the throne of madness and the world lies at his feet, then I will play with you very unpleasant way. I will tear your bowels out and make you eat them. I will stick your dick into your throat and watch you choke. Whoa, it actually says that. He will stick my dick into my throat and watch me choke. It's an official game, Hoarder game. Whom did you kidnap Francesco Gilverti with? Who were your accomplices? Commander Ethian de Pasquet. Are you surprised, Knight? As you can see, my allies are powerful. Don't think you'll get away with this. You're playing with greater fire than you're able to imagine. Even now, you may count yourself dead, you bastard. Worms will eat your entrails before you can open your mouth and tell someone that you've just learned. Why did you kidnap Francisco Verde? Because we needed her. We wanted to use her to murder Bishop Trevorius. He was her confessor. That's why we kidnapped her, to let Lord Baphomet to possess her by an evil spirit, causing her to attack the bishop. So we kidnapped that bitch. I tell you, I had great fun with her before we threw her to Lord Baphomet. Whose idea was it to kidnap her? Grand Duchess Juliet Hedricks. Yes, you've heard well, Knight. She's the high priestess of Lord Baphomet's cult of chaos. She was the one who devised the way to summon Baphomet into our world. She is our holy leader who will sit next to Lord Baphomet, and I will get my reward. Have you really invoked the fallen angel Baphomet? When? How? Speak! Spend some time. It'll be easier than I thought, but much crazier. I nearly lost my sanity because of it. To summon Baphomet, it was needed only to get the body of a dead girl who was mad when she lived, but who had already lost her virginity. 
Moreover, she had to lie in her grave in the graveyard exactly for thirteen nights. Once we managed to get such a corpse, we performed the rite summoning in the ancient Temple of Chaos. We eviscerated her rotting entrails and inserted a poisonous snake into the emboweled body. Then we ravished the dead bitch good. You can't imagine what happens next. Continue. Tell me all. I thought it would make me crazy. The snake started to grow. It twitched and writhed. It changed before our eyes and started to take a monstrous shape. It lashed with slimy tentacles. Bone spikes were growing from it. It was becoming bafflement. Eventually the temple was full of him. So big he was. A single look at him would mean losing my mind. Only Priestess Juliet could rise her sight to him and speak to him. I think they fornicated. At least it seemed so, judging from the sounds, although Grand Duchess screamed in great pain. I pressed my face into the ground not to see what was going on. And then he was gone. He went away through the gateway that was once there on the wall, as if hell itself had devoured him. Where is this Temple of Chaos you're speaking about? It's not far away from the gallows. It must have been there for many centuries because it stank like hell. But you will search in vain for the entrance of the temple, that's for sure. You'll never get there. Only he who believes in our master, Lord Baphomet, can see it. Who murdered Bishop Treverius? Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick. It was she who murdered him with the plan to use Francesco Galverdi. It didn't work. She gave him a poison drink that killed him. It served him right, damn friar. He shouldn't stick his nose into things that were none of his business. Well? You think you've managed something? You bastard. You're mistaken and greatly. Soon your entrails will be hanging from trees and your brain will be lying on my feet. Or Baphomet will destroy you. Do you hear me, you wretch? He will fucking destroy you! That's enough, Raymond Vintano. I've heard what I needed. Guards escort him to his cell. This isn't a better option. I've told y'all I know. Executioner, do your duty. Beat the shit. Look, Diablos is getting excited. While we beat your ass. I feel you've concealed something. Tell me. Or we will continue to beat the living hell out of you. I don't think he really tells us anything else. We'll send him back to his punk ass cell. Back in town, ready to rock and roll. I have to find out whether that heretical cult of the children of the New Order in Glassburg did manage to invoke the fallen angel of Baphomet, the demon of madness and master of chaos. I need to know that, no matter the cost. Yeah, that does sound important. Tendrick is involved in this. And now we are working on bringing that bitch to justice. Charge Commander Ethan de Pasquier with heresy and kidnapping, Your Honor. Do you have enough evidence for that, son? Yes, I have. According to the testimony of Raymond Vin Vintano, Ethan de Pasquier was his accomplice in kidnapping of Francesca Gilverde and participated in the purported invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet. 
that reputedly occurred in the disgusting sanctum near the city gallows. I found the chain of the Brotherhood belonging to the commander there. He believed it was stolen from him. Well, it seems its evidence speaks clearly. In that case, I bring Charles of the Heresy against Ethian de Pasquet. You have my permission to arrest him, son. Thank you, Your Honor. Farewell. Let's see what happens if we submit a proposal of court proceedings against Raymond Ventano. It's my holy duty as the inquisitorial judge to ask you if you have enough evidence for the indictment, son. Yes, I have. Francisco Gloverdi convicted Raymond Ventano of complicit, complicity in her kidnapping, and Ventano later confessed to the crime. Yes, the evidence speaks clearly. In that case, I, as judge of holy office, ordered the trial to be held against defendant Raymond Ventano. Okay, we're gonna burn him up or what? The court of the Inquisition is about to start. I, Judge Lodfa, entrusted by the Holy Mother Church and O God Almighty to discover, prosecute, and punish crimes against God and the faith, commence this trial against the defendant Raymond Ventano, who was accused of kidnapping Francesco Galverde, of heresy, and of conspiring against the faith, the Holy Mother Church, the King, and even against God himself. I hereby ask the prosecutor to speak. Thank you, Your Honor. With your kind permission, I'd like to present the evidence against the defendant Raymond Ventano. You have my permission, brother, but the truth be told. I found that Raymond Ventano was one of the kidnappers who abducted Francesca Galverdi in order to throw her body before infernal powers that possessed her by an unclean spirit, a Satan's instrument indeed. The unclean spirit was to make her murder Bishop Trevarius. Fortunately, the monstrous intrigue didn't come to fruition, and I was able to purify poor Francesca of the wanton infernal paws and question her. It's really a monstrous case of heresy. It makes me boil with rightful anger because only the most corrupted souls are able to perpetrate such disgusting deeds, and such souls are beyond any help. But as the inquisitorial judge, I must note that other evidence of guilt of Raymond Ventano is needed. Does the prosecution have such evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Based on the testimony of Francesco Gilverti, Raymond Ventano has arrested and put to torture. Then he confessed that he, in fact, perpetrated said crimes. But that was not all. He also confessed that in his perversity partook in the preparation and subsequent alleged invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet. Unfucking believable The man standing before us has the nerve to spit at the face of God and to defame his name by deliberately and willingly working on staining the God's earthly kingdom by the presence of a fallen angel. Such chilling and staggering arrogance is unforgivable. All evidence brought forth speaks clearly. The man, the monstrous harpy feeded with the smell of brimstone and of hell, is really guilty. He doesn't deserve anything else but to perish in the most dreadful way. His remains will be tossed to the fierce beast so his soul should never find peace. Amen. But in these hard times, our Holy Mother Church is willing to accept even such hardened and unfaithful men back into our ranks. The heart of the sinful man may be purified by purgatory flames of justice that will relive it from the sin relieve it from the sinful body. Then his soul will stand before the face of God without the brand of sin, and it will be able to enter purgatory where the wisdom and reason of our Lord will grace it with immortality. Hence, I sentence Raymond Ventano in the name of God Almighty to be burned to death. The sentence is to be executed immediately. May God be merciful to his soul. May God forgive you, fallen soul. Diablo s smells kibbles and bits. Uh, I haven't seen a cutscene in like five years in this game. Oh wait, I haven't played in five years either. You 
Ethan de Pascal. Um, I don't even know where the fuck he is. Made me go back to any of the Act 1 places in the entirety of this Act 2, so I don't think they're gonna start now. That fucking name sounds very familiar though. I thought I chased him off. Let's ask her about the murder of Bishop Traverius. I know something about the murder of Bishop Traverius Knight, but I don't dare utter it aloud. You may speak openly, Grand Duchess. All right, then it is said as you somehow mixed in the murder of Bishop Traverius. I don't believe that, but after the dreadful experience of my husband, I don't know who I should believe. I haven't anything to do with that murder. Yes, yeah, surely you haven't. I believe you, Knight. Who else could have my trust in a paladin of the Brotherhood of Righteous? We've got all kinds of evidence against her, but I don't want to get her spooked. I want to get her arrested. I think he was in Glatzburg West. Another thing this game could use is a little bit better quest system and a much better auto map. Could have easily labeled where certain people were. Would have been nice. Well, fuck you then, dude. I'm going to search for this guy and just pause the camera because it's kind of stupid for you guys to have to watch me wander around. I really have no clue where this guy is, so I don't think we've talked to him in quite a while. There's so many fucking names in this game. It's not my guy, is it? Nah. No. Nah. No. There he is. You're getting arrested, motherfucker. You the Andy Pasquier, I arrest you on suspicion of heresy and a conspiracy against God and King. You're coming with me, bitch. Excuse me, brother. There must be a mistake. There's no mistake, brother. You're coming with me. Do you have any, any evidence against me? I know my rights. You cannot arrest me unless you have very good evidence. The first evidence is your chain found at the shrine near the place of execution. The second evidence is Raymond Ventonia's testimony according to which you two kidnapped a girl named Francesca Govardi so she could be seized by an unholy spirit. That's ridiculous. I've never heard of a charge more absurd. No Inquisition court would believe a charge like that, brother. Sorry. Maybe you're right, brother, but anyways, I must ask you to come with me. Because as surely you understand, I must check every suspicion. <laughs> Alright, I'll come with you. 
You are making a huge mistake, brother. Believe me. Completely innocent. Trust me. Let's go. And I take your necklace as a corpus delecti. Damn, still that dude's... Stole his necklace right off of his neck. Plus 11 constitution, plus 14 speed. That's pretty nice. But this helps all my non-magical skills. So if I take this off... Melee... Armor... The necklace is too good. Plus one to non-magical skills is fucking huge, especially especially uh, when you start pumping these things up and they take four tribute points to just go up one. Um, damn shame I can't give you that necklace. Maybe if it was like plus 20 to everything. More importantly, strength. Alright, let's torture some more bastards. This guy's guilty as fuck. That Pasquale, the commander of the Brotherhood of Righteous? I'm damn surprised. Very well, Knight. I'll lock him up. And then we need to interrogate him on the Strapero. Mix up the torture a little bit, you know. You're charged with high crimes, Knight Ethian de Pasque. By all appearances, you committed the crimes of kidnapping, heresy, high treason, and sacrilege. We confess to these sins. No, Knight. I have nothing to confess. I did nothing, and I don't understand how it's possible you're accusing me of something so awful. Most likely, I've become a victim of some mistake or even intrigue, and that has blinded your eyes. I'm totally innocent, as sure as there is a god above me. If you don't plead guilty voluntarily, Sir Knight, I will have to, although I would hate to do it, put you to torture. I'm innocent. I won't confess to anything. I didn't do. And you're making a grave mistake not believing me. In that case, you don't give me any other choice. I don't know if they're burning his asshole with some bellows or what. I ask you once more, Sir Knight, will you confess to the crimes you were charged with? No, I can't confess to something I didn't do. It would be against all I'm sworn to protect, even at the price of my own life. String him up. I'll put you on all three of these fucking things. Lord Baphomet, my master, why have you left me at the mercy of these disgusting minions of the dead god? What did I do that you've lost all love for me? Didn't I serve you well? Why don't you rescue me and bring me away from here on wings of madness? Where are you, Baphomet, when I need you? Do you see, Sir Knight, you're pleading. Tell me all and your suffering will end at once. Confess your sins. I can't resist anymore. My lord has abandoned me. He's left me in pain and death. I was betrayed. Did you participate in the preparing of heretical rite and the invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet? Yes, I did. We summoned the fallen angel Baphomet, really. He appeared before us in all his madness, and we fell on our faces and cried bloody tears of joy because the ritual was successful and our Lord had descended amongst us. With whom did you per per perpetrate these disgusting crimes? With Raymond Ventano and the Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick. Whose idea was it? Who devised such a repulsive notion of invoking the fallen angel Baphomet into this world? Grand Duchess Yulaid Hedrick, she led me astray. She seduced me, abused my body as well as my soul. 
She convinced me I'd be a general of infernal armies when we would march the world and conquer one kingdom after another. The woman was mad night, absolutely crazy. If only you could see her. What things she was able to do, all those nasty vulgarities and perversities. What was the purpose of the alleged invocation of Baphomet? Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick told us when Baphomet entered the world, he would unleash dreadful madness and chaos around him from which a new kingdom would rise and that would be ruled jointly by us. Where did you perpetrate the terrible crime? In the Temple of Chaos, where I found your necklace? Exactly. Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick led us there and we performed the rite during which our lord entered this world. Well, did you and Raymond Ventero kidnap Francesco Goverde? Yes, we did. It was the idea of the Grand Duchess Eulade Hedrick. She maintained we had to get rid of Bishop Traverius because he was a danger to us, because he could get at us from the gallows. That's why she decided we would kidnap Francesca Golvare, whose confessor Bishop Traverius was, and that we would let the fallen angel Baphomet possess her by unclean spirit. The spirit inside the girl's body was to murder Traverius without a shade of suspicion falling upon us. It should have been the work of another crazy heretic, who would then rightly be, rightfully be punished. Who murdered Bishop Traverius? It was the Grand Duchess who laid Hedrick. It was she who murdered him. When our plan to use Francesca Goverde didn't work, she gave him a poison drink that killed him. Does the cult of the children of the New Order ring a bell to you, Sir Knight? No, I've never heard about it. You're lying, Sir Knight. You are its member. There's no doubt about it. What are you intending to achieve by carrying out the plan of yours? Who is the head of this cult? I don't know what you're talking about, Knight. I don't know any plan, and I don't belong to any cult. Grand Duchess plotted it all. She was mad. I don't believe you. More torture. He probably doesn't know anything else, but... We're gonna torture the shit out of him anyways. And then probably go burn him up. Third time's a charm. I'd like to submit a proposal for court proceedings against Commander Ethian de Pasquier. Ethian de Pasquier holds the office of the Commander in the Knightly Order of the Brotherhood of Righteous Son. It's my holy duty as the Inquisitorial Judge to ask you if you have enough evidence. Yes, I have. I found the Knight's necklace in a place where the monstrous heretical Sabbath took place. Moreover, Raymond Ventano confessed it was Ethian de Pasquier who helped him to kidnap servant girl Francesca Golverde, and the Commander eventually pleaded guilty to all crimes. In that case, as Judge of the Holy Office, There'll be a trial held against him, and he will be burned up like a motherfucker, like the last guy. The Court of Inquisition's about to start. I judged. Well, if I am trusted by the Holy Mother of Church and God Almighty to discover, prosecute, and punish crimes against God and faith, commence this trial against the defendant, Commander Ethian de Pasquet, who is accused of heresy of the fellowship and the kidnapping of Francesca Galverde and the conspiracy against the Holy Mother Church, God, and the King. I hereby ask the prosecutor to speak. <sighs> Thank you, Your Honor. With your kind permission, I'd like to present the evidence against this asshole. You have my permission, brother. Let the truth be told. I found a necklace in the disgusting heretical sanctum near the Glatzburg Gallows. But the right of invoking the dark powers occurred recently, beyond reasonable doubt. Subsequently, it showed that it belonged to Commander Ethian de Pasquet. Can you show the necklace? Here it is. Very alarming evidence, brother. We may have to draw a conclusion from the Commander Ethian de Pasquet lost his necklace exactly during the rite whose remains you found. But merely this single proof doesn't prove the Commander's guilt. Do you have any other basis for your claim? Yes, Your Honor. After interrogating the merchant Raymond Ventano with the use of torture, I have obtained the full confession. 
he confessed it was Ethi and Pasque who assisted him in kidnapping Francesca Gulverde, and that they together participated in the alleged rite of invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet. The man has perpetrated really terrible deeds, although he took an oath to the king and God. At least if that's what the prosecution claims is true, because the evidence presented is not enough to prove guilt beyond reasonable doubt, although they raise just suspicion. I know, Your Honor. But there is more evidence. Commander Ethian de Pasquier was arrested on the basis of the suspicion of heresy and put to torture. Although he resisted quite long, he eventually confessed. He, in fact, perpetrated all the crimes I charged him with. He admitted that purportedly assisted with the invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet, who has become his new master. He confessed he, along with Raymond Ventano, kidnapped Francesca Galverde in order to let her get possessed by the unclean spirit and to use her as a living weapon against Bishop Treverius. In that case, I can't do otherwise but to declare the guilt of Commander Ethian de Pasque was proven beyond reasonable doubt. Let's look at the monstrous disguise the man used to conceal his deeds. Behind the mat of a god's servant protecting justice and the crown at every turn, there was a beast hiding, not hesitating to do evil of the worst kind. He is in disgusting pride. He and his disgusting pride didn't detest the most condemnable crimes. Amen. The Holy Mother chose the sympathy for even such renegades. I'm convinced that once his body is burned at the stake, his soul will be able to stand in front of the face of our Lord and accept his judgment. Hence I sentence Commander Ethian de Pasquet to be burned to death. The sentence is to be executed immediately. Let God be merciful to his soul. Ignite the stake, son! Let's start the grill! Who's brought the jalapeno poppers? May God forgive you, you piece of dog shit. We're gonna get another cool FMV scene. Oh yeah. Burn baby burn. Disco fever. Alright, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. We're gonna torture some more bitches. I charge Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick with heresy, Your Honor. What? Are you serious or are you shitting me? Do you realize what you've just said? Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick is the wife of the royal governor of the city, Grand Duke Robert Hedrick. And that means she belongs in the highest circles of society and has connections with the king's court. I realize that, Your Honor, but even she falls within jurisdiction of the Holy Office. And since I've gathered and required evidence against her, I'm determined to arrest and question her with your permission. I do wish, son, but I have to ask, what evidence have you gathered? Raymond Ventano and Ethan de Pasquet confessed that all the crimes they perpetrated did not... They did a Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick's bidding. They say she's the high priestess of the cult of chaos, the fallen angel Baphomet. Allegedly, it was she who came up with the idea of invoking the terrible demon and usurping the power with his help. That's alarming, but not enough to arrest her. Any other proof? Certainly, Your Honor. Dietrich, the grave gravedigger, confessed he procured for the Grand Duchess a dead girl's body that was lying in the grave for 13 days and that she paid him for it. My God! What you said is true. It's my duty to bring charge of heresy against that bitch. You have my permission to arrest her. All right, folks. We'll see you soon with more.